you're part of a task force that our mutual friend Mark put together. Yes. Uh, tell me a bit about the task force in New York and what it does. Yeah, so my name is Pablo Segarra. I'm the founder of SideHustle.Law. We're a boutique firm that empowers side hustlers. Um, and I'm also part of the New York State Bar Association's task force on emerging digital finance and currency. Okay. Uh, we've put together seven or eight events now throughout the years, educating over 400 to 500 international attorneys okay. on best practices in the space. Um, including artificial intelligence, including NFTs, including crypto. And it's been an incredible journey because um, I am actually a retired police officer from New York, and this is my third career. Okay. And I get to go around and educate attorneys on a space that I love so much. So, so modeling, yeah. police officer. Yeah. Hand model, that's about it. Hand model. <laughs> we were just making jokes about how guys don't have to yeah. have the same pressure exactly. that women do. Exactly. So, on education. What's your take on digital training yeah. and physical IRL? Like, what's yeah. the take for you on people coming to NFT NYC today in the next couple of days, yeah. sitting down in an audience, learning face to face, interacting with the speakers, compared to going on YouTube and they have access to our last six events and yeah. they can just get digital training? What, what's your thought on that as an educator? I think to start, it's great with digital. I think to go down that rabbit hole, that's how I, that's how I got into the space. Um, I've had a couple of companies before this, and when I decided to get into crypto, I went down the rabbit hole of YouTube, I went down the rabbit hole of really understanding everything for a good maybe four to six months before I even stepped foot into any of these places, right? Um, but then once I got a hold of that and I said, okay, I want to be a lawyer in this space, I know enough about the law, but now I need to learn more in person through the task force, through other attorneys, what's going on in the space. But even more importantly than that, coming here, I get to talk to founders on a daily basis. Yeah. That's all I do, that's what I love to do. Yeah. Come to me, tell me your idea before you've put anything down on paper, because that way I can guide you through it. And so I think the in real life part, it's super important. And yeah. you should be here, you should do this, mm. because um, you're gonna have these intangible conversations in between, yeah, right. right? Going to get some coffee, you're gonna see somebody you know, they're gonna recognize you from Twitter, right? right? And then you're off to the races. So I think yeah. it's super important. I'd like to um, start the conversation digitally with yes. clients, and then I work into, let's talk in person, and right. we shake and pick hands and sign the deal there. Yeah. Before we wrap up, tell me about the service. So, so what's yeah. the service that you provide, not the events that you do, but yeah. somebody wants to engage with your law firm, yeah. they have a side hustle, yeah. how do they start that process, what do you provide? Sure. Um, so I'm doing a panel tomorrow. Own your shit. Own your shit. And it's important because uh, we're entering this, we're already in this phase of artificial intelligence. The importance of owning your authentic voice when you're being consumed by artificial intelligence, I can't explain to you how important it is to actually trademark your own voice right. and own it. To trademark, when I say your voice, I mean your creations, yeah. everything that you've created, right? It's good. And so the service we provide is uh, trademark registration number one. Um, I work with a lot of Web3 founders, getting them to understand the importance of trademarking your work and the yeah. benefits of it. Right. Uh, there's also licensing agreements on the back end as to what you can do with that. And then we provide general counsel services. Okay. We like to work in the frame of starting off your career in Web3 with your company, starting yes. your business in Web3. That's where I'm at. Okay. And then we get you to the point that we can pass you off to the bigger firms when you're making the forty, fifty thousand right. dollars a month, right? right? So we're in that that first bracket, and I love it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I could keep talking with you, but <laughs> I'm gonna free you up you. to go enjoy the event. Let's end it with a high five, my definitely, friend. Definitely, definitely, brother. Appreciate you.